I'm Sam, and this is Amazing Travels. So I had a pretty normal week this week. School, eating, sleeping, the usual. Had a little stomach pain from my running last Saturday, so I was basically immobile for the whole week. This weekend was awesome. Carly, Alyssa, Ashley, and I went to Austria and Liechtenstein. For those of you that don't know, no worries. I also did not know where Liechtenstein was or that it did exist. It's a tiny little country in between Switzerland and Austria, and it only has 35,000 people or so. It sits in the valley of the Alps. Our journey began on Saturday. We got onto a train from Radovsel. We went to Lindau in Germany. It's an island and it's the only train station that's built on an island in Germany. Lindau was very pretty. We went to a market, got some fresh food. Always delicious, always very good. Then we walked the old town a little bit and decided, hey, let's head on over to Bregenz. That's what we came here to do. Bregenz is in Austria. We didn't really know what we were gonna do because we didn't plan anything, we just knew we were going to be there. And so as we're walking to our hostel, we see signs for this freak show festival that's going on. And we're like, oh, it's kind of weird. I don't know, maybe it has weird music. But then we kept reading. And we saw that it was the Slackline World Cup. For those of you that don't know what Slackline is, it's like basically a tightrope that you tie between two trees and you can like walk on it or jump on it and do crazy cool tricks like all the pros at the World Cup were doing. There was people from all over the world just competing in this Slackline competition. Personally, I didn't know it was that popular, but now I want to join a slacklining club. Slackline hoes, you know who you are. That's really just me, Ashley, Carly, and Alyssa. So we're groupies. We got to meet all the slackliners after their competition. Second place was this sweet little boy named Alex Mason, and he's 15, and I'm convinced he's gonna be like an Olympic slackliner. And we hung out with him and all the other slackliners. We got to play on the slackline, which was how I fell in love. I believe Ashley did too. A really fun night, very random. We ate a delicious pizza thing at the festival. It was just what I needed. Next day, we went to Liechtenstein. Woke up nice and early, around 8.30. Got breakfast at the hostel, which was very nice. And everything was clean, thank God. Hopped on a train over to Liechtenstein. Got there around noon and went to the tourist information Realized there's an awesome castle to go see, so we did a 30 minute hike up to this castle, which you can basically see all of Liechtenstein from the top. The king and the queen and their son, who is the heir to the throne, all live in this 130 bedroom castle that sits on top of a mountain. It's gorgeous. The weather was amazing. A crisp day outside. Couldn't have asked for a better day to go to Liechtenstein. I mean, <laughs> Don't you want to go now? We were supposed to rent some e-bikes, but the lady at the tourist center said that we needed experience and that she wasn't going to let us do it or explain to us how to do it. I thought that was kind of weird. I don't know how hard it is to work on an electronic bike, but I'm pretty sure all you have to do is pedal. We had a very expensive, very, very expensive lunch. Everything in Liechtenstein is like 30 times normal price of what it would be anywhere else. The lady at the restaurant wanted us to charge us three euros for water from the sink. I mean, really? Water from the sink. The train ride back was a little exhausting, but I think it was a great bonding experience. The trip was amazing. I loved it. We had delicious food. It was great weather, beautiful days, beautiful cities. And now I can say that I've gone to two more countries, all that in one weekend. I will become a pro slackliner. Slackline hose for life. What up? Here is a review of the week. That was funny. Now, here is Lindau, which is in Germany, I was telling you before. In case you're wondering, this right here is Rapunzel's actual tower. Yes, it's in Lindau, Germany. Now, we're just walking through town and we see some pretty painted buildings, and that's the market I was talking about. Really delicious, fresh food. As you can see, the colors are vibrant, lively, everyone's there, and it's pretty good. Here's a church that we saw, very beautiful on the inside. And, you know, Carly did her thing and lit a candle for the church. Here's some more of the downtown end. So we're there now. Boom. Then we're going there. Boom. And then we're going. Where's Vaduz? Over. Right here. Jeez. Boom. 
We've got some street performers coming up. They're both doing their thing, making their cash. And this is a pretty fountain here in a nice little building that, you know, I like buildings. Here it says, do not go, Sam, stop. There's a view of the Bodensee from Lindau. And now we are in Austria. This is the coolest stage ever. I mean, look at it, it's in the water. People sit on the top and it's one of the best theaters in the world. Beautiful. This is our youth hostel. And that's where we ate lunch. Really delicious. That's my brewski with my schnitzel and my pommes frites. Uh, Carly's meal, some schnitzel and more salad. Now, we had a quite an issue trying to get into this door. We all tried, some guy next door tried. Finally, the lady that works there. So here are the showers in the hostel. You must shower three at once. You know, they have a theme going. What you? Showered in there. I must say, I did use those showers. Now, that was a bridge. Hey, I just met you. And this is crazy. So here's my number. So call me, baby. It's hard to look right. Look right at you, baby. Uh -huh. So here's my number. What? Hey, call me, baby. What? Here's a little bit more of Bregenz, Austria. It was a cloudy day, but nonetheless, it was very beautiful. You can see all the buildings are very nice. That seems like some kind of a castle thing. Another church, also very pretty, just like the one in Lindau. And we were on our way up to this uh, castle thing at the top, and this is a little town on the way. Very nice entryway. Some graffiti on the way home, and here were the slackliners I was talking about. This is a quick preview of who it is, but that little blonde one, that's Alex Mason, the one I'm in love with. This guy next got first place. I can't believe Alex got second. Anyway, this is us on the way to Vaduz, Liechtenstein. That's the Alps, very beautiful. It was a beautiful day outside, as you can see. Very crisp and clean. We're in Liechtenstein right now. Oh, I'm excited. <laughs> Obviously, we were very excited because, I mean, how many people do you know that have been in Liechtenstein? This is how we were welcomed by this water arc thing, cute child, and the Liechtenstein center. Now, that's the train. We did end up riding this train later on. But right now we're getting our passport stamped. They charge you to get your passport stamped. Apparently it's a very big revenue thing. Here we found a secret book and we wrote our names in it in hopes that someone will find it. Here's a little bit of downtown Vaduz and this is us walking up to the castle. Running in a big field like this is on my bucket list. Did it, here's the pretty castle. Oh, Carly, crow! <laughs> <laughs> That was my very expensive 10 year old burger. Tell us about Lichtenstein, Sam. Lichtenstein has not so very nice people all the time. You know? Um, I got yelled at like twice today for just being me. <laughs> Terrible. Probably because I'm walking around with this. <laughs> People think she stamp has stamp of shame. <laughs> stamp of shame. And the plague. It's, you know, we're gonna take this train ride and it's gonna be really nice. And then we're somehow gonna make it back to Rad Off Cell. Yeah? Ich brauche hier Deutsch. Ein bisschen Deutsch, aber Englisch ist besser, ja. Yep, we usually revert back to English. Now, here is a tour of Vaduz and Liechtenstein. You are gonna see a lot here, and by a lot, I mean most of the entire country. See how it sits between these two mountain ranges? So beautiful, proudly bearing their flag. And the cloudiness was getting to me a little bit later on, but really not a big deal. You can see everything, people waving at us. <laughs> That did happen. They played a Liechtenstein song at the end of the train ride. Here's a really cool bus center. Uh, very nice view. And that's the border of Liechtenstein. This is us being kids at a park. Steve, wish you were there to check it out. And yeah, we, you know, zip line, no big deal. Slack line hose, like I said. And then my last meal in Bavaria. Mmm, delicious.